and welcome to Beyond American Chores Extra. So what is this new series that I've created? Well, it's a vlog series, so I get to express my own thoughts and opinions on anything that's going on in the Tokusatsu community. With that said, I'm going to start this vlog series off with a bang, as I recently went to... Power Morphicon 4. Power Morphicon 2014. Man, oh man, it was such an awesome weekend. Not gonna lie, it was amazing. I mean, three days of nothing but Power Rangers Tokusatsu. It was literally all over the place. It was amazing. It was awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying awesome and amazing a lot, aren't I? <laughs> so I got there on the Friday, so of course the first day of Power Morphicon. I was there all three days, so yeah, it was definitely an awesome trip. But yeah, so I got to check out the Friday preview. Um, I think I missed out on the opening ceremonies, I think. I got to meet uh, Monica May, aka Z, the Yellow SPD Ranger, Philip Andrews, Merrick, the Wild Force Luna Wolf Ranger, and Michael Copen, Lucas, the Time Force Blue Ranger. So that was all on day one. <laughs> um, I did get a bit of stuff on Friday, but I'll get to that a little later. Saturday, I got to check out so much more. It was a lot more packed. Like, I think the um, Friday Night Preview was exclusive to only Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Red memberships. But Saturday, it was a lot more busy, because there was lots of people around, and I got to get more autographs this time around. <laughs> in fact, I actually got a bunch from a team that I really liked. Like, in fact, this team was my first Power Ranger team, which was Lightspeed Rescue. So I got to meet Sean C.W. Johnson, a.k.a. Carter Grayson, Red Light Speed, Allison McInnes, Dana, Pink Light Speed, Red Fisher, Titanium Ranger, Keith Robinson, Joel, the Green Light Speed Rescue Ranger, and Ron Rogue, a.k.a. Captain Mitchell. So it, it was awesome meeting my first team of Rangers. It was, oh my god, it was actually amazing. And then Sunday. So what did I do on the Sunday? I did something different. I actually participated in the Power Rangers Action Card Game Championship. That's right. There was actually a tournament for the Power Rangers Action Card Game, even though it just recently went kaput. Yeah. It was such a good game. I actually got to play it with other people, and it was awesome. In fact, I actually um, hanged out with another YouTube user, Shuku and Shinobi, playing the Action Card Game. So we had no idea what we're doing, so we kind of mainly winged it. And surprisingly, I made it into the top eight, and I got myself a free pack of Series 5, which is only exclusive in Europe. And out of that pack, I got two exclusive cards, which were the Phantom Ranger from Turbo and the Zeo Megazord. In my head, I'm thinking, oh my god, this is awesome, because these cards were only exclusive in Europe. You can't find these anywhere else. Then again, the rest of the set was mostly reprints, so eh, it was okay, I guess. This game had so much potential. I didn't want to see it go. I mean, I have a lot of cards from Series 1 through 3. I couldn't find any packs from Series 4 until I got one from the card game tournament, so yes. <laughs> um, I got a few more autographs, including autographs from the one, the only, Austin St. John, My Morphin Red Ranger, and Zeo Gold Ranger, Jason! In fact, I met a lot from the reviewing community. I got to meet um, some of my reviewing buddies over at the Henshin cast. I got to meet uh, Danny Boy, Zeltrax Millennium, and also Easy Rider. And also, there was not only just Power Ranger actors there. There was a Sentai actor there, which was Yuta Mochizuki, aka Tyranno Ranger Geki from Toryu Sentai Zhu Ranger. Yuta Mochizuki was also Kamen Rider J, which, that was pretty cool. Like, it was awesome seeing him there, it was awesome seeing all these actors there, it was... Ah, it's fantastic, it's awesome, it's amazing! Seriously, I gotta have, like, a counter of how many times I say awesome, amazing, and fantastic. There... I mean, can you tell how great this convention was? So, of course, you're probably wondering, what did I get at Power Morphicon? Of course, everybody always has to show off what they got, so, of course... One of these, of course, included um, prints, so I got a few prints there. I got the con print, which this actually looks awesome. It's Super Mega Force Red, Mind Morphin Red, and Dino Charge Red looking off into the distance. Oh, this is an awesome print. Like, this is, a, this is the con print. My god, it was amazing. Uh, this is the silver membership print that I got, which is of Rita Repulsa, Finster, and Goldar. 
literally, this is really cool. Like, this is actually really well done. I thought this is actually really good. And of course, uh, I also got the platinum print on Sunday, which of course was cheap, and they had a lot of, so I got it. Da -da -da -da! It's Dino Charge, which has red, blue, black, pink, and green on it, plus also, um, Tyrannosaurus Sword, uh, I'll just call him Gabutira. Because, yeah, it's Gabutira. I don't think they've got a name for him yet, so, ah, well. I mean, I did take a look at the Dino Chargers at the Bandai booth, and it did say Tyrannosaurus Rex, so I guess you could still call it, so I guess you can call this the Tyrannosaurus Rex Sword? I don't know. I'm just sticking with Gabutira for now. So, this is a very awesome print. Like, this looks amazing. Like, now for the actual toy stuff. You're probably wondering what I got. So, of course, to start things off, I want to start this off right because I did get the exclusive Ranger Key set, which consists of Titanium Ranger from Lightspeed Rescue and the Jungle Fury Wolf Ranger. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It's an exclusive Ranger Key set, though it was definitely very hard to get. I'm, I'm being serious here. It was definitely hard to get. Like, even, well, there was also raffles, too, so at least you got more of a chance, but one per person, no, no, like, that was kind of okay with, but 500, they could have made more, so that everybody could at least get one, I don't know. I did manage to get some Russias from Russia Sentai Tokyuger, as I have the Gokai Russia, so, of course, it's based off the Gokai Galleon, and also the Police Russia. Yay, now I have the Police Russia. Yeah, you're probably wondering, yes, I have been collecting the Tokyuger stuff. Because I do have, um, Cho Tokyo, and I do have the Fire Russia, now I have Police Russia. All I need is Bill Dio right now, and Bill Dio actually looks really awesome. And I'm glad I actually got these two. Yay, trains! Um, I did get some figure arts. I actually managed to pick up, uh, two figure arts that I've been wanting to get for a very long time, which was Kamen Rider Black and Kamen Rider Black RX. So these are the renewal figure arts. I've been looking for the 2009 figure arts for a very long time, and now that I have the renewal versions, I'm so glad I got these. It's it's actually pretty cool. Like, like it's actually nice having these in your hand, and... Oh my god, these are actually really well detailed, actually. <laughs> I also managed to pick up some lock seeds from Kamen Rider Gaim, as I have the Show Rider lock seed and the Heisei Era lock seed. So I actually managed to get the set, because these actually look really cool. Seriously. And also, I just noticed, I've been getting two of everything. Like, two figure arts, two reshas, two lock seeds. What's it with me in twos? I don't know. Oh, and also two ranger keys. Seriously, just random coincidence I just finally figured out. Also got some Tamashi stages, because I was in dire need of some. I mean, literally, the, like, I've been needing some Tamashi stages for a very long time, and now I've got some more for my figure arts. Hooray! I also got something from this new line called the Cosmo Fleet Special Super Sentai Ranger Mechanics line. So these are little carrier ships that include... Like, the, these are very well detailed. So the one that I got was Machine Buffalo from Choju Sentai Live Man. And look, it actually looks really well done. Like, very well sculpted figure. Well, <laughs> not figure. It's, um, it's a carrier ship, so... Like, this entire line is based off the carrier ships of Super Sentai. Like, they had the Vidrine and Vari Bloon from Go Ranger, the Goggle Caesar from Goggle 5, Die Jupiter from Dynaman, and the Machine Buffalo from Live Man. Pretty cool! I mean, they also included, like, little mini live machines and also a small little figurine of Live Robo. It actually looked pretty cool! Like, this is actually really cool! Like, it's an awesome-looking carrier base. I also got to check out the Shout Factory booth, and I actually got this. Um, I actually got this, VR Troopers Season 1, Volume 1. So, when I got this, I also got this. This awesome Power Morphicon lithograph. It's the same artwork that was used in the Power Ranger 20th Anniversary Monopoly, but seriously, this artwork is awesome. Like... You got the Mighty Morphin Rangers, Megaforce Rangers, Samurai Rangers, and random Rangers in the background. I mean, I think I can see new powers, I can see... <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's a bunch of Sentai Rangers in here. Because <laughs> uh, I can see Aka Ranger, I can see Ball Eagle, I can see uh, Mito Ranger, I can see Ball Shark, uh, I can see Blue Turbo, 
you can kind of see them without even noticing. Interesting. So yeah, that is my trip to Power Morphicon, and to pretty much sum it up, it was amazing, it was awesome, it was fun, it was literally one of the best conventions I've ever been to. Of course, I'm the Tokutor Reviewer, and I will see you guys on the next Beyond American Shores Extra!